It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New England Patriots and the Green Bay Packers. And it's coming up next. This place first opened way back in 1957. We are inside legendary Lambeau Field here in Green Bay. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Green Bay Packers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. With Charles, the page has been turned here in Green Bay, coming off a disappointing end to 2022 and a sub-500 finish. But set the quarterback position aside. What needs to happen for the Packers to get back to the NFC playoffs? Everyone is going to look at that... Kicker Chad Ryland has this one teed up, and off we go from Lambeau. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here are the new-look Packers set to go to work. And at the helm here in 2023, a lot of eyes on this man in his fourth NFL season, Jordan Love. This is set up now to be the true beginning of Love's NFL career because he's finally out from under the shadow of Aaron Rodgers, and Green Bay is giving him this season to prove he can be their starter. Four years after he was drafted in the first round, we'll find out Love is the next decade-long starter for the Green Bay Packers. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. From the 25, here's second down and eight. Play fake. Here's Love. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Love. And oh, that nearly an opening drive INT, but it does fall incomplete. Not the way he wanted to start this ball game as it brings up fourth down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early, but it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. And deep to return it is Marcus Jones. Fair catch, signal four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. Well, the Patriots offense set to go to work with Mac Jones at quarterback in his third season now out of Alabama. It was a much rockier season for Jones in his second year and even had to survive a brief challenge to his starting job. This is a big campaign for the former Rookie of the Year runner-up. He wants to get back to Pro Bowl form in this one. A thousand yard rusher a year ago. Here's Ramondre Stevenson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. From the 31, here's a second and eight. Throwing Jones. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Oh, man, that is just a flat miss. He's in the pocket. The protection holds up. He sees his man come free, but maybe he just gets a little excited about the prospect of a long touchdown. Now Jones. And this is going to be incomplete. The third down is a key down in any game you play. A third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Behringer on to punt for the Patriots.
Fielded at about the 28. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. And Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, but they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt, they're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold them to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Play action this time with Love. That's taken in by Watson. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And this will wind up being a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Love with it here, third and short yardage. He'll find his tight end here in the draw. And he's going to have the Packers first down. They needed four, he doubled that. He wound up getting eight. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it. And occasionally, you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Now a first down carry by Jones. Boy, shifts past him, and he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. That one, 28 yards on the ground. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that, the nickel look. Five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then, you take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little, and oftentimes you can run the football effectively against that defense. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. I'm wondering, partner, if they might need to sub him out for a play or two because after that long run he just had on the previous play, he might not have all of his breath back. Yeah, and they went right back to that well. Different result. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll go again to Jones. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take off blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Love from the gun on third down. And he will find his man on the outside. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Here we go now on first and goal. In motion right, one of the tight ends. Love, they go play action now. And it's a Packers touchdown! From eight yards out, and the Packers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. And he wasn't blocking or running it there. They tossed it to him. Do you remember the good old days when the 49ers were riding rough shot in the league? They use their fullback in pass plays all the time. Roger Craig, Tom Rathman, those guys were terrific at running these types of plays. Anders Carlson now for the point after. And it's good to make it 7-0 Packers. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And the result, a Green Bay score.
So after the made field goal, and here's Carlson to send it away. On the return, Marcus Jones from the end zone. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Balled it to 26, second and seven. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. Only a couple there, so he'll be brought down about the 28. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. Off the play fake, Jones. He's got his man, it's Kendrick Bourne. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. First catch for him, it's good for a dozen and a first down. But certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. Now a play fake here on first down. Open man here, the tight end Henry. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Looking to throw, Jones. And that'll be complete to Stevenson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones, open man is born. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. They'll look to throw again. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. A give to Montgomery out of the gun. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Time taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Patriots are an extra point away from drawing level. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass, let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Nick Folk for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive in total eight plays, and it was all capped on the touchdown run by Ty Montgomery.
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Nixon now from his end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Jordan Love and the Packers heading back out there. He had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll begin again here on first and 10. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he'll use his blockers to get this up over the 20 to the 21. 42 yards rushing for him now to this point. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Three receivers head out right, one to the left on second and three. On play action, love to throw. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. How about that one? The so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Throwing. Love. Setting up the screen here. Aaron Jones. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. Got to give the offensive coordinator credit there. He got right into the head of the defensive coordinator because right on the heels of the sack on second down, he figured they were going to come at him hard again. And so he went ahead and hit him with a brilliant call. Screen pass works well enough. They're able to pick up a first down. That's one way to keep that defense at bay. Yeah, he's able to skip away from that first defender on his way to a pickup of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A gain there of 21 yards. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Working out of the gun. Love. Now to the left here to Reed. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Working with a second and three. Love looking to throw it. That's complete to Dobbs. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Love. That one caught downfield by Watson. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Here's Love. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Going back to Love. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Jones. 
The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Love now. And that is incomplete. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. A 23 yard attempt. Oh, look at this. A flip to the kicker. He's going to try to run for it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. I actually like the fake, all right? It gave it a shot. This is one of those plays where you really think you're going to fool people because he shoveled it off to the kicker, and he was going to try and get it running. <laughs> we have seen it be successful before. But definitely not on this play. Yeah, I was going to say, as the kicker, when you see that it's probably not going to work, just tear and panic in your eyes, I would imagine. What we really needed there was the close-up of his face while he was running. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7, seven, seven, our score. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. second half one touchdown apiece 7-7 seven, seven our score this taken in at the goal line and his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line and the Patriots going to take over here to start quarter number three it's a tie football game here what do you think Charles the message was at halftime well I think that they probably just looked at things and said we're fortunate that this is a tie game no need to panic no need to change a whole lot we didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. That's good for 28 yards. Brandon, what's even more impressive is that came against double coverage. He gashed them with that reception, even with the extra focus that he drew from the defense. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Back to throw, Jones. He'll get this into the hands of Stevenson. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. When you get into the second half of a tie ball game, you start realizing that every play takes on a bigger significance. And this is pretty significant right here. This is where you start putting the pressure on that secondary. And that's a job well done there. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Operating from the gun, Jones. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. 
And the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, in the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like the lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them to attack right here on this play. Stevenson is into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was to get it done, but they threw it downfield and then pounded it into the end zone. And as a former defender, I can tell you, it hurts just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it. On for the extra point is Folk. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A four-play drive spanning 80 yards. And it was polished off by a Ramondre Stevenson touchdown run. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Here's a second and three now from the 33. Again, it's Jones. And he'll push ahead for about three to the 36. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. To throw now. Here's Love. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he'll punt it away for the second time. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return, and the Patriots take over. New England trying to get a place on offense. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Now a pass that's taken in by Smith-Schuster. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Off the bootleg, Jones. He'll find Smith-Schuster again. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. Throwing, Jones. 
And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. Trailing here in the second half, went for the aggressive play, got a little too aggressive. You've got to know when to pull up, Automatic or if you're down. going to go for it, how to take your body across a punter's body and not into him. Not a good play at all. To the right side, this is Stevenson. Down to the 42, second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. From the 42-yard line, here's the second and eight. Now Jones. He finds his man complete. It's Stevenson. He's got room to roam, and he's going to get it all the way down to the 10-yard line. A gain of 32 that time. He had one touchdown earlier, nearly a second one there. Yeah, it took a touchdown-saving tackle to keep him out of the end zone after a big play. Perhaps you go right back to him. Don't need the distance, but maybe he can pay things off after a big effort. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Off the bootleg, Jones got a man and he hits him in stride. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught and you don't give up much run after the catch. And the ball smack dab on the 5-yard line. Here's second and goal. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you are, to. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. They'll run with Stevenson. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. So with a fourth and goal looming, we hit the end of three quarters of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. We get set for the fourth quarter. Patriots have the lead. They also have the football. The fourth's kick is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. So that's, CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. Ryland now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Packers offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 
just shy of the 30. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Love. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it. And he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. First down, going to the air with Love. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give him credit, they recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short, so that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. On second down, it's Jones. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Now Jones. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. Love, this is third and goal. He's got Watson. It's caught. Touchdown, Packers. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Packers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Carlson's extra point up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one-score game, first and 10 here. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. He has just been completely taken out of this game. We're in the fourth quarter. He's single digits in the rushing department. And I know we look at him because the numbers do go to his production. But how about the guys blocking for him? They don't just have his number as a ball carrier. They've got the number of the offensive line and the other guys because they're getting to him before he can get started. Meanwhile, Jones throw taken in by Bourne. <laughs> 
Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. Short pass caught by Henry. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Got to figure the rush is going to be fierce again as they come up second and 13. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Packers are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. They run once more with Stevenson. And that should do it. He's got a first down. And the Patriots can run it out from here. And they will take a knee here. Second and 11. Running left is Stevenson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe to get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. It happened in the NFL. The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee, and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> I'm happy with that. I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. And it's taken in at the nine. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Lambeau.